How are y'all doing tonight? It is super, super late for me getting on. But I just wanted to jump on. Because I, I don't think I made one last night. <laughs> I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Things are starting to run together and just not make any sense anymore. But I got a little story to tell you. Because I noticed tonight my dryer was making a noise and I was like, uh oh, it better not be tearing up. But it was just something in it. But <clears throat> when my daughter and son in law, they had a little apartment here in town. And they come here on, you know, every so often do laundry. Well, one night, or one day, not night, but day, they came to do laundry. And they had a whole bunch. And so they were like, well, we're going to do one last load. And we're going to go. We'll come back tomorrow and get it if that's okay. And we're like, well, yeah, that's okay. And they put their last load in the dryer. They leave. Um, me and my husband were here. At that point, it was just me and my husband living here. And uh, you know, we go to bed. And I don't know what time it was, my husband wakes me up and goes, Honey, honey, do you smell something? I'm like, Yeah, it smells like smoke or something electrical. And so we're walking through the whole house. Our washing machine dryer is down in the basement, right beneath us. And I happened to go to the kitchen. As soon as I hit the kitchen, I can smell it. And I was like, sit down in the basement. And I grab the extinguisher. I go down there. And their clothes in the dryer were on fire. Of course, the dryer was on fire. And there was smoke. And I was on the ground. I hollered for my husband. He, he was opening up every window in the, in the whole house. And um, he come down there. Started opening up the windows in the basement. Because we have windows down there, too. And he was like, go call the fire department. Because we can put it out. So I called the fire department. And she was like, ma'am, you got to leave the house. And I didn't want to leave the house. It was winter. So we did. We had to go outside. It was freezing. They came. They put it out. They got it out of the house. And then they were like, you're good to go. You can go back in your house. And me and my husband, we came back in. Left the windows up in most of the rooms. I tell everybody, do not go in your home and stay in your home after an electrical fire. Do not. It was the worst night of our life. We never, we couldn't get the smell out of, <laughs> of us, you know. That's all we smelled was that fire. It was horrible. It was horrible. So I always tell everybody, find you a place to stay a couple of days. Oh my God, don't stay in the house. <laughs> Anyway, that was just a cute little story that happened to us years ago. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have, and we're fine. Our house did not have any fire damage <laughs> or anything like that. But anyway, y'all have a good night. Sweet dreams, and I hope to see you in the morning.